क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रन डज एम हैव नाउ स्टेटमेंट वन सेज दैट एच इज द ओनली डॉटर ऑफ एक्स हु इज वाइफ ऑफ एम इट मीन्स एम इज हजबेंड एंड हिज वाइफ इज एक्स एंड एच इज द ओनली डॉटर ऑफ एक्स Now H is also the daughter of M. The statement two says that K and J are brother of M. K and J are brothers of M. This information is 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 not required at all. and it does not give any information about the children so these are the brother relationship and the first statement says that only the daughter d is the h is the only daughter and it does not talk about the son how many son x or m have so we don't know because when we are talking about children it means the children can be daughter and son both so here we have only information for daughter so we don't know how many son they have so it means that the your answer is d neither one nor two is sufficient to answer the question question number 4 how much was the total sale of the company statement one says that the company sold 8000 units of product a each costing rupees 25 so as per statement 1 we know that the sale from product a is equal to 25 each and total units are 8000 so this is equal to 30 then 8 by the 40 20 so this is the total sale of the company now statement 2 so there can be more than product a there can be product b c d e f g h so their sale can also is also part of the sale of the company now statement 2 to say that the company has no other product line so only product a so it means that the total sale of the company is only this one because they do not have any product b c d or e and no there is no other product only this product a so this is the total sale of the company it means that the information statement 1 and 2 both are required to answer the question so that is the answer is e question number 5 last sunday of march 2006 fell on which date so what was the date of the last sunday of march 2006 statement one says that the first sunday of that month fell on fifth so it means that as per statement one the sundays were sunday fell on sunday fell on fifth Then after that is five plus seven twelve, twelve plus seven nineteen, nineteen plus seven is twenty six. So twenty six is the next Sunday. So it means that the and after twenty six plus seven is thirty three, which is not the total, which is no month has thirty three days. So it means this was the last Sunday. So twenty six. March 2006 was last Sunday. So this first statement is sufficient to give us the answer. Now let's say statement two. The last day of that month was Friday. Okay, and the last day March is the 31 days are in the March. So it means that the 31st. March was Friday. Let's calculate backward. Thirty first, thirty, twenty nine, 
So Friday, then this is the Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, and 26 was the Sunday. So this was the last Sunday. So from second statement also we can find out what was the last Sunday of March 2006. So it means both statements are sufficient. So either C or the, either one statement or two is sufficient to answer the question. So our answer is C.